afternoon, Stampers. My name is Janice Waitman, and I have been a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! almost 19 years. My blog is www.stampaholics.com. I hope you stop by regularly to see updates on current specials and classes. My goal is to release several new videos each month. Today, I want to show you a quick and easy Christmas card that I took straight from the Stampin' Up! holiday catalog on page 14. If you haven't already received your holiday catalog in the mail, let me know. This one started August the 28th, 2014, and it goes through January the 5th, 2015. Sometimes it's fun just to relax and take a sample and an idea straight from the catalog rather than trying to figure something out all on your own. The card I'm going to show today uses the stamp set Cheerful Christmas, which comes in both wood and clear mount. And I'm going to use the sample right here on the bottom corner of page 14. And it has a little icon that tells you that it's quick and easy, which is my favorite card to do. Okay, some of the supplies I'm going to use from the stamp set. Um, this one, I have the clear mount. That's what I prefer to use most of the time. It's less expensive and it takes up less room for storage. But Cheerful Christmas comes with a set of six. And I'm going to use the greeting, Christmas cheer. Now the first thing I'm going to do with the stamp set is stamp the image on a quarter sheet of white cardstock to layer in real red ink. And then I'm going to take a piece of always artichoke cardstock, fold it in half, and crease it with my bone folder. And then use my Snell adhesive. When I say I used a quarter sheet, I did cut it down um, a quarter inch to fit a standard card base. So this layer is actually five and a quarter inches by four inches to fit on the always artichoke. And I will have all supplies for this card and the measurements on my blog that you can easily duplicate. And simple. And whenever I adhere a layer, I usually turn it over and smooth it out with my hand so I'm not smoothing any ink or getting any oils on the front. And there you go. Now the next thing I'm going to do is put an insert in the card because it's kind of hard to see to write on the darker card stock. So I'm just going to put a white insert, again the same size as the layer we did on the outside. And put this on the inside of the card. And then just the final, we're just going to put a few embellishments. I'm going to use some of the candy dots, and I think this is the Regal's colors, and I'm going to use the candy dots and always artichoke. And whenever you get the candy dots, they come with adhesive already on the back, and I like to use a paper piercing tool, uh, just something with the sharp edge to pick up the rhinestones, or in this case, candy dots. And then I just put it randomly, I'm just going to put a couple throughout the front of the card. And it's by personal choice, wherever you want to. I've always heard that it's good to use odd numbers that's pleasing to the eye. So I'm just going to put three little always artichoke candy dots there to add a little accent. And then the next step, I'm just going to add a few medium-sized rhinestones. And this is straight out of the catalog. The only thing I changed a little bit, I just changed the layout from a portrait um, layout to landscape. And you can see how quick and easy this card is. It would be very easy to make 50 of these on a Saturday afternoon while you watch a Lifetime movie. So when you're all done, that's the front of your card. And then it's always nice to add a little embellishment on your envelope. So I'm just taking a Whisper White envelope and a real red stamp pad. And I'm just going to put an accent of one of the ornaments on the corner. And there you go. A quick and easy Christmas card. Straight from the holiday catalog. The supplies I used today were the stamp set Christmas, excuse me, cheerful Christmas stamp set, and I used the clear mount, and on page 14, and I thank you for stopping by, and don't forget that you can never be too rich, too thin, or have too many stamps.